Okay, I got an OBD1 distributor here, B series, non VTEC. Um, I do have it on a OBD2 car, but I'm going to show you how to check these things you can do here. Um, we're going to be doing some uh, resistance testing. So this is terminal one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. And on this particular one, uh, we're going to be checking uh, terminals two and six, three and seven, and four and eight. Now, all of these should have a resistance between 350 and 700. So I should be able to set this right here on the 2K, right here, and we can go through and do this on these particular ones here. So what I'm gonna be checking first is the CKP. So one, two, I'm just gonna set that in there and just kind of lean it against it. And then luckily six is right up under it. So I can set that there. And we see that I'm getting a reading of 385. That's above 350. Okay, awesome. Next check is going to be the TDC, which is terminals 3 and 7. So all I have to do is move this over one terminal on each side. This should be between 350 and 700. We can see that one's a little low. That one right there is a little low. The next one we're going to check is the CYP, and that is terminals 4 and 8. 4 and 8, right there, and I'm over, I'm over 350. So that's good. Awesome. How will this manifest in your car? One of the things that's going to happen right off the rip is you're probably going to lose injector. You'll have good start, like cranking. You'll have good spark, but you'll have no injector pulse. And some people start, you know, throwing parts at it like, oh, I got to replace my fuel pump. Oh, my filter may be clogged. I mean, obviously check that stuff. You can crack the bolt. It's a banjo bolt on the top of the filter. See if you're getting fuel pressure out of it. So that's how you check these distributors. That's how you figure out what's wrong with them. Uh, like I said, you know, you could be getting good spark, good crank, getting fuel to everything, but your injectors aren't kicking. You might be freaking out like, oh, my ECU fried, which on these, it's uh, plug A, one through four. It's a negative switching ground. And that negative will switch on and off with correlation to the sensors inside your distributor. So a lot of people be changing fuel pumps and stuff, trying to get stuff figured out. So if this isn't working, you will not get a injector pulse to the injector. And your, your injectors are fine. Uh, you know, odds are your fuel pump's gonna be fine. Your filter's fine. Your rail's fine. But it'll be a sensor inside this distributor. Now, the unfortunate part about this is I can't go and just buy a sensor for this other than the coil itself so i have to buy another distributor now i could buy aftermarket or second uh, or you know third third party but i'm going to try to find second hand i'm going to try to find a good oem uh two plug b series distributor to replace this with and then i can move on and continue doing what i'm doing so yeah that's how you check these that's how you troubleshoot them um, so I know now that this was my issue. This is why my injectors aren't firing. Uh, so I will replace this and it will fix the car. So that's how you get that done.